Hey world, it's Kelly Prather broadcasting live from the West End in Cincinnati, Ohio. The neighborhood has changed so much that, I mean, had I not been born and raised down here, I wouldn't even know what to, I wouldn't even recognize it. I can, um, cannot imagine how individuals who are returning home to Cincinnati after being locked up for years and years, they won't even recognize the city. It is in horrific, horrific shape. Let me just turn my camera around so you all can see what I see. I have no idea. I have no idea how and why any of our current elected officials, and I'll say our local elected officials, how they can brag about anything positive that they've done for the majority of Cincinnati, for all neighborhoods, or even claim that they care about all neighborhoods, and this neighborhood looks like this. Less than a half a mile, about a half a mile, they have invested hundreds of millions of dollars into OTR, yet the over the run, I mean, yet the West End of Cincinnati looks like this. Take a look. I mean, this is absolutely appalling. This is absolutely appalling. But as you all know, with gentrification, it starts in one area and then they just spread, it spreads. It spreads so those investors, those out of state investors, those local investors, those politicians who are um, colluding uh, with investors, they have plans for this area. They're letting it go down to be, get run down to nothing so that they can come into this community and just take over. Um, but you need politicians who are gonna be your voice, politicians who are willing to walk the neighborhoods, talk to the community members, and ensure that that does not happen. This is ridiculous, ridiculous. I'm currently walking past the site where Scooter, there was a young man named Scooter who was just executed, executed in public where he was gunned down. I'm wondering what's the status of that considering that we have cameras. You heard me say that public safety in Cincinnati is at an all time low. We, have, we actually have cameras. Right there. Hey, babe, how are you? And we have another camera right there. Okay, yet they said that they could not identify a shooter. And I did put a plea out, a public plea out for anyone who has information on shooter's murder, uh, regarding shooter's murder, to come forward. Um, we have children down here. I have a niece. Well, I have a couple nieces who live in City West, Lauren Homes. And I want my great nieces to live, to be able to walk the street safely, walk to the store, walk, walk to the pony kick, walk to the store, and return home safely. This is appalling. If I didn't know any better, I would think that this was Chicago, Detroit, or this does not even look like home to me. This is appalling. local city officials, I just can't. I can't respect anything that they say or do in terms of looking out for all 50, 52 neighborhoods and the citizens in the West End are subjected to these conditions. Look at this, just look at this. I'm good, how are you? That's good. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, I'm married to my career. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just focused, just trying to get in a position to make a better, make a difference for us. I know. 
Okay, Bert, I'll call you. Okay, I will. I promise. All right. Just... Oh, this is crazy. Just look at this. How y'all doing? This is crazy. Y'all right, said it would get better. It did get better with that walk. And that walk made me feel a little better. Uh, all right. How y'all doing? Right. It's important to be in places where people know your name. The lady you met yesterday, where? Where'd you meet me? Gas station. Maybe. Midnight. Mid what? Which gas station? Where? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know that already. Yeah. Probably. Maybe. Yeah. I'm everywhere. Always. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Kareem. I'm gonna talk with you. I'm good. Good to see. What'd you say, man? Oh, no, thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Oh, you know what? Okay. All right. Got to go talk to some of my people. Calvin, you good? Let's make sure we can. You want for city council? Yes. Y'all make sure she wins city council. I vote I vote for her. Go to confidence. We need her. Yes. We need her. Yes, Calvin, tell you are you a Kelly Franklin supporter? You yes. support me for city council? Yes. All right. All right. I'm gonna log off so I can talk to my friend Calvin. All right, I'm gonna let y'all Kelly. God bless. Goodbye.